So now our image captcha is pretty cool, but there's a service out there that you may have heard about called reCAPTCHA. And the idea behind it is that it takes the work that people put into solving these CAPTCHAs, all of the users that are posting comments and applying for accounts, and it uses it in order to help transcribe certain words that were difficult to scan in old newspapers and magazines in an effort to digitize a whole set of archive documents. So instead of this work going to waste, some of it goes towards doing something good. It also has a bit of a prettier interface. So let's go ahead and enable that. We're gonna start by downloading and enabling the module. We'll find out that we actually need an account through the process of trying to set it up. So we'll do that too. So I'm gonna go back to the browser where I'm logged in and do a quick search for Drupal reCAPTCHA. And here's the link that we wanna to go to. So we're at project slash reCAPTCHA, and this is what a reCAPTCHA looks like. It gives you two words. One of the words, reCAPTCHA already knows the answer for, and that's what's used as the test. And then the other word is the ambiguously scanned one that they need some human editing for. For example, they might know that overlooks is actually overlooks, but this inquiry, they might not know about. Now the user who's filling this out doesn't know which one reCAPTCHA knows about, so they have to fill out both. So just to give you a sense of the scale of what reCAPTCHA does, it's used on so many popular sites that the equivalent of roughly two and a half million books worth of words gets transcribed every year. It's a pretty big and awesome deal. So here's the information that you need in order to install reCAPTCHA. I'm going to use Drush, Drush, DL, reCAPTCHA, and we're gonna leave out the reCAPTCHA mail hide and just enable reCAPTCHA. Drush, E-N, reCAPTCHA. Let's spell that right. I'll type Y, how about Y? Okay, so now if we go back to our site and we go to modules, just to verify that we have it installed and we type CAPTCHA here, we see reCAPTCHA and then reCAPTCHA mail hide, which we're not gonna use here but allows you to obfuscate email addresses inside of content. 